Hi, I'm Mary Kupsinski, the CEO of Regalytics, and I'm here to give you an update on this week's 28,128 regulatory alerts. So I've gone to a few in-person events this week, and it's actually pretty cool that people walk up to me and say, oh my gosh, you're Mary Kupsinski. I totally watch your videos. And lots of you love it when I'm on an RV or I have a silly hat on, but it's pretty clear that those of you who watch consistently like good old fashioned important news to keep you interesting at a dinner party or more likely at a work event. So here you go. The regulator of the week this week is California. So look, California always passes a lot of bills, but this week was pretty interesting because it's truly groundbreaking stuff that they're trying to address. After all, California is the home to the majority of the world's leading AI companies. So all of these were passed. SB 942 makes it pretty important that individuals know if content was created by AI or not. It requires large gen AI companies to label AI generated content, but also to provide some sort of AI detection capability. SB 926 creates a new crime targeting AI generated sexually explicit deepfake content. So if you create content based on a real person with the intent to cause that person emotional distress, you will face criminal charges and be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. SB 981 requires social media platforms to establish a mechanism for users to report explicit deepfakes of themselves and the platform has to be able to block it while they investigate and permanently remove it if it's confirmed. AB 2655 requires platforms to remove or label any digitally altered or created content related to elections during a specific period. And during that time, candidates, elected officials, uh, the attorney general, district attorney, city attorney, they all can seek injunctive relief, which basically means they can force the platform to stop if they're not in compliance. AB 2839 expands the time frame in which any entity that knowingly distributes deceptive AI or manipulated content about official candidates, election offic officials, etc., can be shut down. And finally, AB 2355 requires electoral advertisements using AI generated or altered con content to include a disclosure. But look, not everyone loves California's forward thinking ways. An army of 24 state attorney generals in a comment letter urged the EPA to block California's advanced clean fleets regulation, which mandates electric trucks for fleet owners and operators. And the coalition is arguing that California is implementing a law that oversteps its authority and disrupts logistics and transportation industries nationwide since a lot of goods are transported in and out of California to other states. The topic of the week is fintechs. I already said this last week, but I'm gonna say it again. The OCC, the Fed and the FDIC are extending the comment period for the request for information on bank fintech arrangements and you have until October 30th. Meanwhile, in a speech this week, the head of CFPB said that non-bank companies are increasingly engaged in consumer deposit taking and payment activities seeking the benefits of banking without the associated obligations. This trend, and these are his words, not mine, raise significant risks as traditional banking protections such as deposit insurance and quick access to funds are not gonna apply when non-banks are involved. And the board is proposing a rule to enhance record keeping requirements for banks that are partnering with non-banks to ensure that customer account information is accurately tracked and accessible. But this rule does not fully address the risk of non-bank banking as consumers are still potentially gonna get into delays or losses if a non-bank fails. So uh, there's a big need for stronger FinTech regulation. Meanwhile, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority has invited authorized institutions to apply for the Generative AI Sandbox and Enterprise Singapore has partnered with Google Cloud to support startups and small and medium enterprises in Singapore, accelerating the adoption of artificial intelligence and innovation. So there you go, the US federal government pushing to slow down FinTech innovation while Asia Pacific is leaning harder into it. Again, no comments on the merits here. But that's it this week for Regalytics. We have the global supply chain of the world's regulatory alerts in one very easy to use place. And if you need anything, 
that's related to regulation, give us a call.